All right, let's do the final mission for the um, all in uh, all enemies jackal snipers. So I'm um, gonna put the score back on and all that. Legendary, no scales, and let's do this. <sighs> I'm just glad that other mission's over and done with. It's all over. This whole mission won't be too bad because I'm Arbiter, so I've actually got Envy anyway, in a way. Like, I've got that scale pretty much, but I don't have it, just because, like, he can do that. So this level's going to be a breeze compared to that other high charity. Good thing is the like the brutes in that are normally way more tougher. They're probably like literally as strong as I am. See, like if High Charity was Arbiter's mission, it would have been like really easy, like like pretty much what I did. But I would have been able to use the active camo way more. I still took, I still put way too much time to that level trying to pass the, <clears throat> about it. So sorry. Good thing is, normally they have like brute shocks and all that, and <clears throat> that can usually hurt my uh my wraith a lot. But the beam rifles absolutely do nothing. The wraiths are totally weak because of their jackals. So checkmate jackals. I thought you had me in high charity. You silly little crap. Oh, the bad thing is, though, the, uh, oh god. The bad thing is, hunters can die by two snipes in the back or the neck. So they're probably going to die really fast. I don't feel like Tartarus will actually be that hard because 
Jekyll's right. They literally, um, like, they give you beam rifles, and Donson has a beam rifle, and beam rifle takes down Tarsus' shield with three shots. So that pretty much just means I can take it down myself, and then use plasma rifles or carbine or something. Damn, okay, I gotta get up there, I think. I feel like Tardis is actually gonna be pretty pretty simple. I could regret it, but it's gonna be nowhere near as hard as high charity fudge. <laughs> I was walking out thinking it was gonna be the brutes like normal for a minute. When did we kill a brute, I wonder? So far though, there was only the one mission that had bad, another bad enemy type other than the Jekyll and it was level 4, it had that grunt up top, it had that one red grunt, I'm pretty sure it's red. I wonder what's in this corner over here. Couldn't possibly be jackal snipers. That just would not make sense in a, all the enemies are jackal snipers. <laughs> I guess you forgot how to drive a, a turret, Mr. Jackal. Oh boy. Normally this part is just has a bunch of jackals, but you can also just use these pyramids here for cover, and you're good. There is a shitload of them though. Which means, one wrong move, and it's game over. Thank you, Phantom. You're lovely. What a Phantom. What a Jekyll. <laughs> Alright, um... They think I can't see them already. Not as bad as that uh, Jekyll in like Mission 13 I think, Uprising, or level Mission 11 sorry, um, where it's like sidestepping me. Of course he would. <laughs> I 
Yeah, normally you can like jump on that pillar there and like snipe them all, but that's not going to happen. I think the one way to do this is run there, go invisible by there, and then just run past that into that doorway. Shouldn't jump. It's a suicide move. Okay, so I found a little a little area that I could shoot a couple of them. This should be easy, I should be able to just like free my allies and they should just help me. It should just happen. <laughs> we'll get sniped <laughs> instantly and get to the hunter pod because like they're literally like um being covered by something <laughs> there's no way now there is one way just it just came to my mind So now they should be getting distracted by the hunters, and I can just go party them all. Until that happens. I could definitely do this without allies, but just knowing that they could help a lot more. I'm wondering who actually is shooting me though. So like they're all looking at the hunters when I shot. <sighs> oh, 
Hello. Nice to meet you too, Jekyll. Wipe the whole hunter species. I feel like I need to give them some decent weapons. You can't go wrong, you've got 69 bullets. Late. Hell yeah. Right, soon enough we'll be at Tartarus and it'll be mission over. Final mission for the Jekyll Sniper Legionary campaign. I love just being able to kill a jackal like with um one blast. Oh, oh that sucks. I didn't kill them both. There's no banshees to worry about, so um, this makes this part extremely easy. I just gotta wait for the uh, I'm gonna wait for the scarab. The really cool thing is though, I'm gonna have heaps of beam rifles to take down Tardis' shield to like keep damaging him constantly and way faster.
Jesus, they have aimbot of that too. <laughs> there are their players from the gun was like it like wasn't even the vehicle wasn't turning as I was shooting, it's just like straight and it's like going that way. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to stay under the water when I and then like just fly straight up. So I'll kill these dudes. It's a way to keep moving forward and not let your bench go anywhere for the most part. I like there's four banshees in total now. This should be pretty straightforward. Hide behind the cover and headshot everything. As long as you don't let them get around that corner in time. A lot easier than dealing with brutes.
Go out there. Okay, so I throw a grenade. Throw a grenade and I go invisible, that's all I can do. Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's possible unless you go invisible. Like this is another one that you'd need envy for. <laughs> what are those shields? <laughs> What is this bullshit? Bruh. Johnson. Yeah. 
generation base. Come on, Arbiter! Kick that guy's ass! You have to shoot his ass. I don't know. On Johnson. Die you. You're gonna say lucky hit? Fuck. Do I have to get like the whole boss? This sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this the whole I'm gonna have to do the whole boss like this, I guess. There's like no checkpoint in between. I do need my um I need a carbine up here. Okay, there is one down up here. We'll shut them down. Apologies. The protocol does not allow me to interfere with any aspect of the sequence. Then how do I stop it? Well, it will take some time to go over the Quit stalling. Under more controlled circumstances, I would suggest that we are safe. That's it? Johnson, I'm on. Hang tight, ma'am. Not until that brute is dead. Their shields stay with them when they die. Because it's gonna confuse me thinking one's still alive. It's usually when you kill a jackal, a shield. Agreed. He needed to go. This was definitely a little harder than I thought. Like.
got to play safe here. My focus now are the jackals. There's usually three of them, I believe, so we're good. Johnson. Let me shoot his face. This is the easiest way to take out Tartarus normally, like sitting up here, shooting him when Johnson things him, and then killing the brutes with like headshots with a carbine. Usually I'd have a carbine and my plasma rifles, and that's how I take out like Tartarus on every mod. I guess I have to watch the whole cutscene, so we'll just let it run. Flash. I remembered the oracle for that flashing point. It was, it was like very sore in my eyes. It was sort of annoying me on the oracle, but other than that, it wasn't. Not many lights were too bad, but everything's a lot brighter. My explosions. And What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Horror, is that? This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight.
questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. All right. Shoot. Funny, <clears throat> she gets sort of taken on Halo 2, you save Cortana on Halo 3, and then you lose her on Halo 4, and then Halo 5, she's just like crazy. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next mod I do. So, if I had to say the three hardest missions, it'd be Hide Charity the hardest, and then the Oracle, and then probably. Gravemind and the Regret boss fight, they like sort of stay right the same. And then the Sacred Icons like after. And then the rest of the missions weren't bad. They're like, they weren't terribly bad and hard. They were like definitely hard in that, but. They were sort of just like a normal, that's, that's like what I was expecting. Not like sort of High Charity or the Oracle, that they, they were just extremely difficult. Which I knew that was coming. So. Alright, awesome to get this mod finally over with though. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you later.